With the uh, 20th choice in the 2006 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Tom Bahali, defensive end from Penn State. After having 103 earlier in the year, the only person that's rushed for 100 yards through three wins for Nebraska, Diedrich hasn't done it yet. Tamba Halley makes the stop on Diedrich. Uh, Tamba Halley was the guy who was close to him, a junior out of Teaneck, New Jersey. He was a defensive tackle. They moved him to the outside. Moved him outside to get a pass rush. He's had three sacks this year. They need to get to the 33, and they're going to try running the football. Boyd knocked down at midfield. Anwar. Penn State only allowing 15 points a game on defense. Boy, they have really stepped up to the challenge of Kyle Orton and this high-powered offense from Purdue. But you see just a little underhand flip. That is a pass. And that goes Tom Ali with a very athletic defensive end. The right tackle pull, number 79, pulled a punch and cut. There's nobody out there to try to get a split in screen, but Tom Bahali, film study Pam, sniffed that out, expected it, and when you win on first down, it allowed you on second down to take advantage and aggressive approach. Uh-oh, look out. Holly gets the sack from behind. His first sack of the season. He's been having in 10 from the 38. And Smith goes down, tackled around the ankles. And that's Holly Tamba. That's his second sack uh -huh. today. Troy Smith from the shotgun. Sets. Now here comes the pressure. More pressure. Backside, they're going to sack him. Down at the 15 yard line, and it's Tamba Holly. The first time that they have gotten to him tonight. Tamba Holly is the man who got turned around and then wound up with the sack. Into the bottom of your screen. Smith steps up, going to have to be careful here, is hit from behind and tackled for a half-yard loss by Tamba Hali. Tamba Hali and also Jay Alford, number 13. Great job by Troy Smith of just staying alive. Gonzalez in motion. Here comes pressure. Smith is hit and sacked. The ball is loose, and it's recovered by Ohio State. Tamba Hali with the hit. But they kept the tight end in to get maximum protection. The Tomba Holly comes up with a huge, huge sack. Four on third down passing. And he would pressure again. Holly drops him. And the clock will continue to move. It wasn't his ball, it was our fault. Look out! Oh boy, Bracer gets flattened from behind by Tom Ali. Third sack of the night for Penn State. This one delivered by Ali, who's had a terrific year among the conference leaders in sacks, his seventh of this season. He's second in the Big Ten. Ali is, is a solid football player, relentless. Nobody blocks him. He kind of eased off that hit, mm -hmm. knowing he really could have put a leg on basic. They run against the nickel, and nothing doing that way as Tomba Holly, one of the better defensive linemen in the Big Ten, just pounced on Corey Sheets. Here's the problem. Uh, Curtis Painter is no threat to run the football. So Holly and these guys, when they see the stretch play and the zone play and the ride option play that Purdue's running right now, are just waiting for the running play. Or the Deflected by Tomba Holly, number 91, who is off to a very good afternoon.
Great call by Tom Bradley that time. Tom Mahali had been coming in as a pass rusher. This time they blitz from the outside and Tom Mahali sees the short drop and he stops and says, I'll just whack this down. If you're a defense... Nickel defense with Johnson on the field for the Nittany line. Option look from Peter. Nothing doing because Tom Mahali, number 91, makes another stop as he strung the play out. Play Holly, who never gives up on a play. Watch him spin off and come back and get the sack. Urbic did a nice job pushing him to the outside. That's about all you can expect. And Holly ends up getting the sack. That's his eighth of the year. All week, everyone thought the matchup problem would be Urbic against Holly. Here's Holly to the outside. He comes clean to that side, and Holly comes in and gets the hit on that one. Wow, he just made Urbic whiff on that play and Holly gets a piece of the pass. Brent Tomba Holly just stuffed this play. Watch this. Comes down, just stuffs the play, allowing nowhere to go and allowing the inside players this time packs him to clean it up. This guy is putting on a clinic right now. There's been a lot of defensive ends from Penn State that are playing in the NFL. Right now Holly's saying I'm next. First and ten. Stocko in on him again, number 91. They expect Stocko to put it up. Uh -oh. Down he goes, and you know who's got him. Uh -oh. Tomba Holly, the senior. And what are you going to do? This time he goes up, and it cuts inside the young freshman Eric this time. Goes up, now watch the arm move, and just slaps him out of the way, comes inside, knocks the freshman off. You're, there you are. You're calling plays. If you don't send your backs out, you don't have enough guys to get open. From the opposite side of the field, he's got Joe Thomas, comes inside. It's a screen pass, so Thomas doesn't care if he gives ground. He knows on this play, he had the opportunity. But this is what makes Holly a good football player. Never gives up on the field. Now, he's been rushing that passer all game, and then he comes running downfield 18, 19, 20 yards. He ran about 45 yards on that play. He's going to put him back over there on that side. He Again, usually, and you know, Lawrence he usually, helped out on that too, he, Gary. He usually drops when he's over here on this side. Makes the play. By this woo, time, he woo. just came right down the line. Man, he's making an all-American game in this football game right now. now making himself been, some money, isn't he? Sure is. There's been some great defensive ends here at Penn State. You see him on an inside charge. Got a blitzing linebacker outside. He's matched up against the tight end this time, Posiak. But you know, Brad Schioli, Courtney Brown, Michael Haynes, he's another one of those great defensive ends that's going to play in the National Football League. But he back over left defensive end, so it is hard for the Badgers to get a read on where he's going to line up. Bradley starts to move him around. Oh. Stocko, and here he comes. tomba has got him. This is A.J. Hawkish. This is A.J. Hawkish that we saw against Texas. He spun against two guys that time inside to make that play. Exactly, just like that. But I'll tell you, it reminds me of right now is Simeon Rice. Watch this. When he was a senior at Illinois. Yeah, you know, he's not as tall, Brent, but his motor's the same type of a football player. You know, this is the type of guys that the NFL drools at because he plays hard every play, 260, 65 pounds, doesn't take a rest. He just ran down a screen, and now he goes to the other side of the field. It's a wide receiver screen. They're going to take advantage of the lack of ability to pass block. Oh, that looked like the one that knocked out. Then the very next play, he stands in the pocket. Holly comes through. You know he feels it. Great job with defensive line here. Jimmy Kennedy, Michael Haynes. I mean, they've just gone one right after another and have come off of this program and played in the NFL. Brad Skill, we talked about it before. Michael Haynes plays for the Bears. And what NFL team will be lucky enough to get this guy? Because here's what, Wisconsin's had 66 plays. He's been in for about 60 of them. And he's had sprinter attack on every one of those 60 plays. We are Penn State echoing across the state of Pennsylvania. Loyal fans in all of college football. Holly got him again. 
do. Number 91 has got him again with the game in hand inside of two minutes. And as Gary said, that motor never stops running.